my name's Tony Carr, Professor Tony Carr from the University of Sussex. I um, am director of the Genome Damage and Stability Centre, which is a group of about 17 laboratories all researching around the area of DNA changes, uh, genome instability, with a particular focus on cancer biology and rare human diseases. My own laboratory um, works on uh, DNA damage responses in fission yeast and our particular interest at the moment is how DNA replication is related to the causative events of genome rearrangements. Because DNA replication is a very highly conserved process then things that we can learn in fission yeast are obviously going to be applicable to other organisms. Our particular interest is how uh, when replication forks uh, arrested at barriers such as DNA damage or naturally occurring DNA structures or proteins that are bound to DNA or clashes with transcription, things like that. How that replication fork behaves and whether by being paused and arrested it then when it starts again is liable to cause um, genome instability. We have a particular genetic system in fission yeast where we can program a replication fork to an arrest at a very specific locus in the genome and then study the consequences of that. The main users of our research would be other academics, perhaps people studying uh, cancer cells. In the longer term we'd hope that our research would inform cancer biology and have an impact on human health, but we're a long way from the directly from the bedside. The research in my lab in this area is done by uh, a group of postdocs and PhD students and uh, we have uh, several collaborators on the project. Uh, another lab in this building, Dr Joe Murray's lab, has made a significant uh, contribution to the work. We also have a collaboration with a group in France, uh, which has been a long-term collaboration and very fruitful. The work on um, replication for restart and genome stability has been ongoing in the lab for uh, a period of about 10 plus years, and we've published uh, four uh, what I consider very interesting papers on that area. And it culminated very recently in a paper in Nature where we were able to demonstrate the error-prone nature of the restarted fork, which was a novel observation and which we hope will help evaluate and re-evaluate some of the um, genetic findings from the Cancer Genome Sequencing Project. Some of the underpinning biology in this project has helped us to um, gain a European Research Council grant uh, to develop uh, some microscopy techniques which we hope will help us to understand in more detail what's going on at the level of the DNA. This is a, a quite a large grant which I head up but which is really part of a collaboration between my own lab, uh, another laboratory in Sussex in the de chemistry department and two laboratories in Cambridge and by working together we're hopefully going to be able to bring some new technologies to bear on this particular subject.